So we've had two Bible readings. They were great. And now all of a sudden it's time to stand up and not just because we want to stretch. Now we get to use one of God's words that we take from the Old Testament, especially from the Psalms. We say, Alleluia. That's Hebrew. And it means praise the Lord or halal Yahweh. That's exactly what we get to do because we're getting ready for the gospel reading. The gospel reading is different than the Old Testament and the epistle reading. We do some things for the gospel that we don't do for the other readings. We stand up when it's read. We sing the Alleluia and the verse. We use extra words when the gospel's announced at its beginning and at its ending. Because the gospel is where we hear the words and see the actions of Jesus. That's why you'll notice that the pastors have this fancy gospel reading book with the gold cover. It's not just to be pretty, but it's there to say, here are the words and actions of Jesus. And in Christ's church, we prioritize the words and the actions of Jesus because this is important. So it helps us to pay attention when we stand up, when we honor the gospel, recognizing that it is here in the gospel that we see the words and actions of Jesus. You'll also notice in our video here that the pastor doesn't read the gospel from the lectern, but he reads it from the middle of the congregation, or sometimes he'll read it from the corner of the altar. When he does that, it's a statement of, this is a different thing. God's word comes into the middle of his people. God's word is closely tied to his supper, where he comes in his body and blood. And so we recognize this is all the gospel working for God's people wherever it is read from. And the gospel of Jesus is something that we pay attention to with great joy.